a Balakoff or V-thread. Depends on good ice. Look for good quality, competent ice. Not any aerated white ice. To get back down again, I don't want to leave any ice screws behind. So I'm going to thread, put a thread in the ice. Two holes in the ice and then thread something through to them. An Ablakoff. Try to place the ice screw at between 80 and 90 degrees to the face of the ice. Try to make an equilateral triangle with the holes. So angle the screw at about 60 degrees to the side. Check the quality of the ice core coming out of the screw. If it comes out as powder, slush, or you feel voids, find another place. To help line up the holes, I put either another ice screw or the threader in the first hole as a guide. Oh yes! Push your 6, 7, 8mm cord down the first hole and pull it out of the other with the threader. Most gear companies make threaders, but as long as it has a sharp hook on the end, you can make one out of a wire coat hanger. Lovely. The cord will need to be about one and a half metres long. Finish it off with a good, tight overhand knot with tails at least 20 centimetres long. What I'm going to do now is put another ice screw in so that if that fails for anybody else who's going down the ice screw will protect it. But what that means also is that if it hasn't failed for the last man then he can take it out and bring it with him. Position the backup ice screw and sling so that all the load is taken by the Ablakoff cord. When I've rigged the abseil to remind me which rope to pull, I clip my cow's tail to the side with the knot in 